Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how to fix the Call of Duty Warzone Dev Error 6328 that some PC gamers encountered. The Dev Error 6328 shows up when you open Warzone, and this will prevent you from gaming normally. Sometimes, it will also cause the game to crash, and many have already experienced it. In fact, it's one of the most common errors you may encounter every now and then. So if you're one of the gamers that's currently bugged by this problem, here are the things you can do to fix it. First solution, force stop war zone and restart your router in your PC. When dealing with this kind of problem, the first thing you need to do is to refresh the memory of your computer, as well as your network. So if you've already opened Warzone and you're stuck on the screen that shows you the dev error 6328, force stop the game before restarting your devices. Here's how. Press the Control, Alt and Delete keys at the same time. Click Task Manager. Look for the Modern Warfare service and click on it. Now click on the End Task button at the lower right corner of the window. After that, restart your computer. While waiting for the PC to reboot, unplug your router or modem from the wall outlet. Wait for a minute or two before plugging it back in. Once your computer has finished rebooting and has connected to the network, run Warzone again and see if the error is gone. Second solution, make sure Warzone is updated. Most of the time, errors and bugs are fixed by updates, so if the first solution fails, the next thing you have to look into is whether Warzone needs to be updated. Here's how you do that using the Battle.net client. Launch the Battle.net client. Click Games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click check for update to see if there's an update available. Sometimes the play button gets replaced with an update button if there's a major update that needs to be installed. Third solution, update your graphics driver. Aside from making sure that the game is running on the latest patch, it's equally important that the graphics card is running on the latest driver. That should be the next thing you have to look into. Here's how you do that. Click Start and type File Explorer. Click File Explorer to open a folder. On the left panel, look for this PC and then right-click on it. Click Manage. Under System Tools, click Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters and right-click on your graphics card. Click Update Driver and then click Search Automatically for Drivers. You may also use the software that comes with your graphics card to update it. Fourth solution, run Warzone on DirectX 11. For players who encounter crashes and other DirectX errors, switching to DirectX 11 may enable the game to run smoothly. Here's how. Launch the Battle.net client. Click Games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, Click the gear icon next to the play button. Select game settings. Put a check in a box next to additional command line arguments and enter minus D3D11 in the text field. Click done to apply the changes. Restart the game to see how things go. If the problem persists, go ahead with the next fix. Fifth solution, delete the game's cache. There are times when the game cache gets corrupted and may result in errors like this. A cache is a collection of small files that are supposed to make the game run smoothly, but if it gets corrupted, you will experience various issues. It can be one of those cases, so here's what you should do about it. On your keyboard, press the Windows key and R at the same time to pull up the run command. In the text field, type program data enclosed in percentage signs and press enter. Now delete the battle.net and Blizzard Entertainment folders. After doing that, restart the battle.net client, and then run Warzone from there. If this doesn't fix the problem, then move on to the next solution. Sixth solution, reinstall Warzone. If all else fails, your last resort will be to reinstall the game. This means that you have to uninstall it from your PC and then re-download it. It might take an hour or two before you can play it again, so make sure to try the previous solutions before doing this. Here's how. Launch the Battle.net client. Click Games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click Uninstall, and then click Yes Uninstall to confirm. After the game is removed, restart your computer before reinstalling it. 
And that's pretty much it. The game should run perfectly on your computer after this. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you one way or the other. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you enable the notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching.